feature the Marshall High Fashion Show. Next on our runway, the twins. <laughs> Looking at this pair, I have to ask God why he made two of these. Here's Jordan Lavelle. Ladies, is Jordan as hot as he looks? Oh, yeah. It must be so cool to be invisible. You can get away with anything. You could do it, too. Really? Yeah. Abracadabra, sis, boom, ba. Steve is now invisible. Ra, ra, ra. Wait. So I'm really invisible. Hey, man. If anybody could see you, I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> hey, everybody. Look at me. I'm invisible. Ha, <laughs> oh. <laughs> ha. <laughs> I think I speak for all of us when I say, ew. Oh, look, Mr. Nitsky. Big bad Mr. Nitsky. Oh, uh, Steve. Hey, Mr. Nitsky, what are we learning in history today? How old your hairstyle is? Oh, champ. Yeah. <laughs> You're in more trouble than Pickett's troops at Gettysburg, son. Is that bad? I want a 20-page paper on the Civil War on my desk tomorrow morning. I wasn't invisible, was I? No. I did make five bucks. I'm sorry. Hey, Steve, we're all gonna go out for some ice cream. Do you wanna come? No, I can't. We got a 20-page paper due tomorrow. I'm getting chocolate, 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 chocolate chip with chocolate sprinkles. And you'll be sick all night. And I'll be sick all night. You know what fun you're missing? I'll bring you back something good, honey. Hey. Look, I'm really sorry, for I brought you a can of heavenly mixed nuts. That's what makes them different from normal. They're 15% bigger. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the thought. It's not gonna help. Look, I got you into big trouble, but I brought someone big to help you out. Yeah? Who? I'll give you a hint. He's very honest, and he wears a stovepipe hat. <laughs> you brought Frosty the snowman? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, Steve here needs a killer paper on the Civil War by tomorrow morning. We thought you could help. You want me to do his homework? That doesn't seem right. I knew I should have brought back Nixon. Nixon's in heaven? He snuck in through the doggy door. I'm sorry we bothered you, Mr. Lincoln. I don't think anybody can help me now. My boy, my advice to you is never give up. I lost almost every election I was in, but I didn't give up. I saw the United States fall nearly asunder, but I didn't give up. Then I was shot in the head. It's pretty difficult not to give up at that point. Yeah, you're right. I'm not licked yet. Hey, your speech really inspired him. Hey, I'm Lincoln. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Right. Uh, Mr. Lincoln, that's Diet Coke. Uh huh. <laughs> Hello, Champ. I just finished your Civil War paper. Uh huh. It was great. Not like the mindless swill I usually get from these stupid kids. No offense? Yeah, well, thanks. All right, Steve, on the comeback trail. Yeah, it's true. Those girls still think I'm weird. Look, they've only seen the prancing monkey who thinks he's invisible you. Show them the real you. Oh, I can't. I wish I was more like Jordan LaBelle. He's got all the lines. So I was all like, duh. <laughs> Jordan, you are so funny. <laughs> I guess you can't help me with that. No. But I know who can. So, you want a spark with a girl? Bring along your fiddle and a couple of pigs for her ball and her paw. <laughs> Just give me one more chance. All right, fine. Steve, meet Cleopatra. I met her at a party at Sammy Davis Jr.'s pad. 
The man is the consummate entertainer. He gives and gives and gives. Cleo, Steve's trying to win a lady's heart. She thinks he's a geek. Well, he's no Flavius Maximus. Tell me something I don't know. Is there anything you can do? Hmm. I've got it. You need to act aloof. Stand off, fish. Don't even talk to her. All I ever do is not talk to her. You're not talking to her out of fear. You need to not talk to her out of confidence. Uh-huh. That's right. Give her an icy stare. Steve, why are you staring at me? Uh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking, you have the timeless beauty of the Sphinx. Really? There is no one that can match your loveliness. Not even the thousand concubines of Ramses II? No one's ever said that to me before. The thousand porcupines of who now? I gotta run. Can I call you later? Yes. Great. Bye. Hey, thanks, Cleo. You know, that flowery language really works. Yeah. You're the hottest 2,000-year-old babe this side of Earth a kick. <laughs> <laughs> Marty DiPolo. Why do you do that? Because I'd like to see you go. Yeah! <laughs> see how I helped Steve there? Yes. And I want you to remember you can help him, but don't help him too much. I understand. You do? Not at all. Well, let me explain it to you. Yet again. It's gotta hurt. Well, bye bye, Bertie. Have you ever heard of just walking into a room? You work so hard on these entrances and you never appreciate them. Hello? It's Amy Cossover. Uh, tonight? Pick you up at eight? And don't be late. <laughs> Baby, you know what I like. Uh, nothing. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, a Damien Damien crossover. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't go. I've got a big English paper due tomorrow. Oh, this looks like another job. Fourteen Angel. <laughs> it never gets old, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> And to help you with your English paper, I give you... Colonel Sanders? No! Mark Twain! Mark Twain! Wow! Pleased to meet you, sir. Whoa. That son is a robust aroma of the mighty Mississippi. Clings to a white cotton suit like a kite to its mama's teat. All righty then, Mr. Twain. <laughs> Steve here needs a little help with his English assignment. My boy, I'll do your assignment faster than a bowl weevil yeah, clings to Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is over there, Foghorn. <laughs> Marty, we're not going to use these dead guys to do my homework forever, right? No, of course not. Just till you get over the hump. Great. Now, I've got some physics homework, too. Could you pop someone in for that? No problem. <laughs> Mark Twain again? No, Albert Einstein. Albie. Here's Steve's physics assignment. Don't forget to show your work. You want me to do someone else's homework? Is that ethical? Look, Einstein, I used to think like you, but then I got smart. You pulled me from a party at Sammy Davis Jr.'s house for this? He was about to sing Candyman. Blah, blah, blah. Peace. We're out. Man, another A. Mark Twain really knows his stuff. Well, Einstein's pretty sharp, too. Of course, there's no Einstein. Steve, I had a great time last night. Uh, thank you, my beautiful pyramid puss. Anyway, um, since I'm running for homecoming queen, I thought it'd be so cool if you were my king. So is it right if I nominate you? Me? Uh, sure, why not? Great. Dude, you running for homecoming king? Excellent. I once was voted most unique. I came in third. <laughs> Jordan, you don't have a problem with me running against you? Are you kidding? 
They parade you around the football field like some cheap piece of meat. <laughs> you get a cool crown, though. <laughs> About half an inch since last time. And Pam, are you half an inch? Well, congratulations, Squirt. Now imagine how much you'd grow if you'd give up those cigars and coffee. <laughs> Hi, honey. How is school? Oh, terrific. I am running for homecoming king. Oh, that's great. You know, I was the homecoming queen of my sophomore class and my junior class. <laughs> and uh, Pam was in some clubs, too. Technically, detention isn't the club. <laughs> If you need any help with your campaign, Aunt Pam and I would just love to give you a hand. Hey, 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 hey. Thanks, but I think I can handle this one on my own. Huh. <laughs> hey, Marty. How's the sweatshop going? Awesome. I've assembled the greatest minds of all time to help elect you homecoming king. I got Mark Twain on speeches, Cleopatra on image, George Gallup on Foley. <laughs> Pablo Picasso on posters. <laughs> and Einstein blowing up balloons. And of course, your campaign manager, Abraham Lincoln. Now, I know it looks bad, son, but don't worry. I was elected president of the United States, and I'm as homely as a Missouri mule. Yes, you are quite an eyesore. That's true enough. Dude, this is incredible. I'm going to be homecoming, King. I'm getting straight A's, and I'm going on dates. Life is good. Thanks to Marty DiPolo. And his elves. <laughs> All right, keep up the good work, team. I gotta go meet Amy at the mall. Bring me back a vino on a shtick. And one of them big cookies, boy, out. <laughs> Extra, extra, read all about it. Teen Angel does it again. Very impressive. And I suppose you did all these things for Steve without using trickery? Well, conceivably, I was outside the bounds of the fringes of the gray area. Marty, you know we don't allow lawyers into heaven. I just want to I'm the best angel you got. Well, Martin, if you're doing such a good job, perhaps it's time for you to move on to a new assignment. A new assignment? But what about Steve? Sounds to me like he doesn't need you anymore. Well, maybe he doesn't, but I always thought we'd be together. If we couldn't keep the Beatles together, what makes you think we care about you and Steve Beauchamp? Beauchamp. <laughs> now, Marty, your new assignment will be one of our toughest cases. Sammy Noah. Sammy Noah? The rock star? Well, he is cool. That's what all the angels say. At first. <laughs> Sorry. I swallowed a comet. Tissue? Your Highness. Nice landslide, Malibu. <laughs> Marty, man, you won't believe how popular I am. That's great. Listen, I got some bad news, man. I did such a good job with you, they reassigned me. I'm not your guardian angel anymore. What? Hey, I'll visit whenever I can. I get all the Jewish holidays off. <laughs> Plus, his son is Jewish. <laughs> You're my best friend. But you're doing fine without me. I am? Yeah. I guess I'd better be going. Yeah, I'll miss you, man. <sighs> <laughs> Not solid enough. I gotta eat more bananas. <laughs> yeah. Sammy Noah, I have come to straighten out your wretched life. Start in the bathroom. I miss the toilet. <laughs> But you hit the mirror. <laughs> Ooh, be an angel and uh, score me some chicks. What am I, an Arkansas State Trooper? <laughs> I'm here to give you moral guidance. Well, as part of your duties, could you perform the occasional satanic ritual? Let me check the manual. No! <laughs> hey, see you later, Mom. I've got a date. On a school night? 
Steve, are you sure you're not taking on too much? You're going out on all these dates. You're the homecoming king. And I'm getting straight A's. Oh, my God, he's turning into you. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I've got everything under control. I'm starving. Haven't they got any barley cakes or pemmican? No. But there are these fritos. Hmm. It's like there's a party in my mouth. Excuse me. I've got to go uh, do... Bye. Whoa, whoa, what the heck is going on here? You, put your pants on. Wow, where's my physics homework? I haven't started yet. It's this infernal cube. It can't be solved, I tell you. Link, what about my history paper? Is that finished? Um, my dog ate it. Oh, honest, Abe. I leave you people to do one simple job and you screw it up. You are the most irresponsible group of legendary figures I have ever met. You can't talk to us that way. That's right. We're history. I got it. <laughs> Check the bottom. Don't. <laughs> That's it. Right there. Now do the butt. There's some places even angels fear to train. All right, then. Help me write a song. What rhymes with vomit? You really should do that yourself. I've got a bad hangover. Be an angel. Do something about my head. Fine. Like you're the first guardian angel to shrink one of my body parts. Turn it back. <laughs> now, my burger's called. Be an angel and pop it in the microwave. Yes, master. Yes, master. Right away, master. I like your new attitude. I was being sarcastic. Well, it wasn't clear. <laughs> Hello, Marty. Ah! Oh, it's just you, Hetty. I thought it was a talking rump roast. Oh. Uh, how's it going with Mr. Noah? He's running me ragged. Cook this, clean that. He throws up constantly. Could it be that he got so spoiled because his previous guardian angels did everything for him? Isn't that what a guardian angel's supposed to do? If you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man to fish, He'll eat for a lifetime. Enough with the kung fu stuff, Grasshopper. What are you trying to tell me? That a guardian angel's job is to help someone help himself, not to do everything for him. Oh, I get it. Just like me and Steve. Duh. So does this mean I can go back to Steve? Yes. You certainly can. Oh, thanks, Head. Ah. <laughs> Beauchamp, your latest history report was terrible. You're back to number one on my enemies list. You have an enemies list? I can neither confirm nor deny that report. Hey, homecoming king. Hey, thanks, Jordan. Look, sorry to be the one to beat you. Oh, no, it worked out for the best. But I was brooding about it down at the mall when this, uh, this modeling agent discovered me. No way. Yeah. Yeah, he said I looked like a young James Dean. You know, the sausage dude. <laughs> Steve, we need to talk. Dude, this looks bad. <laughs> I can't believe you broke our date last night. Amy, listen, I'm sorry. I was swamped with homework. But did I mention you have the timeless beauty of Leon Spinks? <laughs> what? Michael Spinks? <laughs> Marty, you're back! Yeah? Oh. I'm here to stay. New director from the man upstairs. Did I leave him in the microwave? Oh, well. I'm so glad you're here. I really need your help. 
I'm behind in all my homework, and I can't get the Mark Twain smell out of my bedroom. I'll help you get back on your feet. Hey, I can't ask for more than that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I'm not Sammy Noah's guardian angel anymore. I feel sorry for the sap they assigned to him. <laughs> oh. Mm. Someone once asked me, Mr. President, how many people work in your cabinet? I replied, about half. <laughs> Very funny. I don't do the butt. Uh... Is that a twisted sister pen on your uniform? What do you want to do with your life? kids today. They're so angry. Oh, tell me about it. Hey, you want to go for a smoothie? Only if I'm buying. Oh, you got it, my brother. <laughs> I like your hair. 